I haven't seen Big E outside of mealtimes lately. Most of my time is spent teaching scholars how to read old... Old Angly. Angly. Old English. Jeez. Old Angly, or as I, I, I call it, English. <laughs> <laughs> I, lo- I love some of the old memes. If you check it out, you can actually find, like, you know, some of, like, the... What they used to call it? Yeah, like there's names from like the year like 20,000, like you know, from the Dark Age of Technology in 40k, and they've got like all these like really weird names for like companies that like currently (laughs) exist. Either way, either way, something to check out. You guys definitely check it out, but let's keep going with this, sorry. Magnus and Emps wanted more guys able to take over my translating work. I'm back on Emperor's flagship, so I got my sweet digs back. Malkador is running things back on Terra right now. Legos received another name for his service and injury. Ceremony took days. Damn, the custodies really read off every name the person being rewarded has earned. Then they do it again, with the new additions. That sounds like something like Tweebeard would do. <laughs> yeah. We've just finished saying good morning. It's like, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Em spent some time with his sons, leaving me with even more tombs and records to translate. I'm really getting tired of this, but at least my scholars are getting better by the day. It is nice to feel my personal skills are helping the Imperium. These records Magnus gave me have already hinted at a side beacon in a nearby sector. I think it might be a much weaker proto-astronomicon used by the old Federation. I try not to get my hopes up. It is likely just a Golden Age war project. Hope is the first step to disappointment after all. In other news, we did find lots of fiction novels that were thought to be lost. We sent out those novels to be re-released. We also used old census documents to find a few lost colonies, one of which had an STC fragment for scholar panels and waste reclamation machines. I feel we are really doing good work here, so I've tried to keep my bitching to a low level. I'm hoping to see some more worlds soon, as I've been shipbound for months. At least I get plenty of visits. The can even made me a goblet made from the former PG skull. Beast. <laughs> That's like, that is actually a really tw- like old step tradition, yeah. if I remember. Like that's like one of those like ancient things, mm-hmm. like you know, like it's just. But you always hear about that, like, like drinking from the, the skull of his yeah, enemies. Yeah. yeah, but like it's one of those things, particularly with like step nomad culture. Yeah, it's just like ingrained into them almost. <laughs> it's like every single one of them. Yeah, if you don't have a skull drinking goblet, why? Why <laughs> are you even in a? Are you even a local warlord? What's the point? <laughs> Dumb bastard refused to be made a vassal and challenged Emps to a duel. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> That's not ever going to end mad balls. Yeah. Boss man just stopped his heart in the spot. <laughs> yeah. Head Jag- exploding moment right there. <laughs> yeah. Jagatai was formally granted full control of his legion. The White Scars marched in triumph in the ruins of the former capital of a world forcefully brought back into the fold. Thakshai was under a sickening caste system. A race of Xenos fish people had enslaved the human locals and used them as cannon fodder in their own wars between each other. The Khan and White Scars freed the slaves and butchered the Xenos filth. I even got to personally see the crowds cheer when we asked the slaves that fought beside us to join the Triumph March. I wish Jagatai well in the wars to come. I have a meeting with Emps later today. As I walked down the hall, I noticed several of the ship's menials are circled around something. When they are so engrossed in whatever they are watching, they don't notice me and my solar guards walk right up to them. I look over one hunched over menial to see a data slate. Looks like a vid of some guy talking about something. What are you guys watching? I ask. They all jump a bit and look at me in shock. A solar grabs the data slate while the menials are staring at me. The soldier then passes the slate to me and I finally understand what they're watching. A sermon. A sermon from an imperial cult. Oh, oh she. Here we go that again. That they were watching in a public hall. Fucking morons. We place them under arrest, call the ship's ratings to deal with this. They will not be harmed, just placed in classes to try and educate them on the imperial truth. Unless they have priors, then things get harsh. They could at least try and hide it. That's really not a good sign if they're actually doing it out in public in or, or ready. Yeah. You know... I, I get what they're trying. I, like they, they don't mean harm by doing it, and I guess they could under like you can understand why they do consider like the emperor as like a godlike figure. Yeah. Almost because he does have like, a good ex- what he's got is like a next level cult to personality. Yeah. Think like North Korea times a million. <laughs> yeah. But they actually like you know the 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 god they emperor. They actually do like them. They actually do like him. Yeah. And I don't blame them for like falling into this, but I guess everyone knows it's like, look, it leads to chaos. It always leads to chaos. Just don't 
we're going to get chaos, guys. <laughs> you guys know where this is going to end up. With. You, you, like, we're going to have first heresy tea, and you guys know it, but let's just wait until we get there, guys. Okay? <laughs> we get to the meeting late. Sorry, Amps. Got sidetracked by another of your cults. They are hardly my cults. You get what I mean. He gestures to my totally not a high chair, which I take a seat in. Magnus and Fulgrim are also here. We have some time to chat and sip some refreshments first before we start. We go over how the plans are going. I mostly stay quiet unless I have a suggestion. Emps lets us into what Kurz has been doing. Seems Emps had the Night Haunter hunting Cabal agents and fucking up their plans. Soon Emps is going to send me to help Kurz with a chaos threat he learned about from fighting the Cabal. That sounds fucking terrifying. Yeah, I, I'm sorry. I'm going to turn that one down, Amps. That sounds like a, a that's a no not, from me. That's, that's going to be a big no from me. If there's what, like, you know, I just don't want to be hanging out. Like, I'm sorry. Even if Kurz isn't. Like, you know, Kurz was never like... The thing is with Kurz, he never really fell to chaos. He was always just mentally un, unstable yeah. at the best of times. And he just got worse. Me saying, yeah, like I know for the K. <laughs> I know. But, like, you know how it is. We are currently in orbit above a dead world. We are here scourging the planet for some old stash Emps left behind as a rainy day fund. The bunker complex had some nice toys. We are taking a few thousand units of a mass produced power armour from the golden age, seed vaults and data archives. The tech boys are having a party. Our current stop was to take over a garden world we find. No humans, just a race of frog like Xenos were there starting to explore their two small moons orbiting their home world. We captured their small moon bases and turned the Xenos to their tech boys for study. I feel bad for these pervy frog boys. They're getting stumped at me. <laughs> Imagine the only like, oh, fine, exploring the big new world, just get punched in the face. <laughs> Not <here>. today! <laughs> Not today! I actually like, kicked the door in. <laughs> oh my god. Once we bombed all of their major cities, we sent in the army to clear the countryside. It only took a few weeks. Overall, the damage to this world was limited. The planet will make a great frontier colony. The swamps here are stocked with fish and plants formerly raised by the frog Xenos. Tech boys pass them for human use. Overall, a great find. Poor frogs. <laughs> I really feel bad for these wee frog boys. <laughs> hey guys, we just want to take a second to say thank you to all you guys that come back and enjoy our videos with us. It really does mean a lot and lets us do what we do. As you guys know, doing what we do is always an uphill battle on YouTube. As YouTube would like to throw the parts of the internet we enjoy under the bus. You guys know all about the YouTube algorithm at this point and the best way to help us do what we do is by clicking subscribe and clicking the notification bell to stay up to speed with any and all new videos. As well as sharing videos of ours with friends you think would also enjoy what we do here. Also don't forget to check out our social media links below. We love doing what we do and it's all thanks to you guys and for that we thank you so 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 much. Now let's get back to the video. Another message from Horace. He has found planet murder and is currently waiting for an Interrex patrol to make contact. Hope that goes well this time. The plan is to inform the Interrex about the Chaos Blade and destroy it. From there, to establish a peaceful working relation to the Interrex. In Happy News, Davin and its moon were both glassed. The next few worlds we stopped at went quick. Most human worlds were happy to join. The few Xenos we found were either a single planet species or bound to their star system. We uplifted the human worlds, cleansed the Xenos and turned their worlds into new colonies. One of the Xenos races was like the Azari from Mass Effect, but green with no biotech. They were also insane and Nurgle worshippers. Their system had three habitable worlds we had to glass. Such a waste. How can you have a ha habitable world and also worship Sganesh at the same time? not Sganesh, sorry, Nurgle, Nurgle. at the same time. <laughs> Them two, th them words just don't add up. Habitable world, <laughs> Nurgle. Nurgle, habitable world. No, no, no. no I'm sorry, it doesn't work. For me. <laughs> we stop back into proper imperial space. We are above a volcanic world called Nova Low. For a volcanic planet, this place is actually nice. The locals are focused on surface mining the vent fields. Over sixty thousand people live here. Now nah, it's ghost time. <laughs> 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 Sorry, I couldn't help myself. The average person is actually crazy rich here, by most average Imperium citizen standards. That was a tongue twister. Yeah. A few towns here have living standards above what I remember from Earth in my time. As we wait for Conrad's fleet to arrive, I visit the locals. Nice folk. Planet used to be a death world when humans first settled it. It was covered in mega jungles, filled with beasts and acid swamps. 
planet got hit by a comet. The few thousand human colonists survived in their bunker complex. The impact actually made the world a lot nicer. That sounds like Fallout. It does sound like Fallout. I'm getting Fallout references <laughs> here, I don't know. But nice, it doesn't add up. <laughs> While we waited for Conrad's fleet, we sent ships to the system's edge to drag back some comet for ice. Novolo was paying us to give them a cut as well, so great. As the crew was processing the ice, a space hulk dropped from the warp. Good thing our fleet is massive, so we surrounded the thing while we sent the Astartes group to scout the hulk. Other than minor infestation of orcs, it was fine. Some tech boys are going to stay behind and salvage this hulk. Ems did some strange trick to keep the hulk from going back into the warp. Looks like Nova Lo is going to have another cash cow. The Mechanicum will take most of the loot, but they will make a killing supplying the techies. We actually find a city of humans living in the deeper parts of the Hulk. They had managed to keep a Gellerfield generator running to cover their section of the Hulk. These people had sealed off most of the Hulk from their city to keep most of the Orc site. They were quite happy to see us. They are going to be checked for any mutations and such as relocated to the frontier colony. They claim they were stranded on the Hulk for 400 years, but the section of their city was in was an Imperial design ship. Not sure how that works, but it's not worth my sanity. Yeah, the word's weird. It, like, don't try and <laughs> Don't try and reason. Don't try and reason whenever, like, you know, the, the, the space travel in 40k is just weird. Space travel in general is fucking weird. Yeah, but 40k and the warp, and then the time, it just, like, it's all No! The <laughs> Conrad has sent word he will be delayed. A world he was resupplying had a major hurricane, and he's helping the relief forces. Ems decided we'll meet him halfway instead. We're heading to a system called H478 that has a gas giant named Gaia with three habitable moons. One moon is a hive world called Hemrit, another is a reserve world, used as a hunting slash nature retreat for Hemrit's nobles and well off. The last is an agri world devoted to razor grain, which sounds edgy. <laughs> <laughs> razor grain. <laughs> Anon, I have arranged a mentor to assist your training. I was in another meeting with Emps and Sons. Another? What am I to learn now? I thought I was to focus on translating and anti-chaos actions for now. Fulgrim nods at the Emperor, while Magnus sighs. You will be assisting the 8th Legion with removing a possible chaos threat. While you have worked with the Astartes, you have not properly fought with them. You will be trained for this. I'm guessing I'll be involved with the Interlegion, training between Fulgrim and Magnus Legions. For the record, I do not think Anon is ready for this, but I will withhold my objections due to your pick for this idea, Father, Magnus says. I would like it on record, I don't think I can handle fighting alongside Marines. I admit with no shame. Yeah, there's no shame in saying <laughs> yeah. that. Imps bops, boops, bops. bops <laughs> my head lightly. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, it's okay, give him wee pop. In his high chair. <laughs> yeah. You will only be trained on how to properly work alongside Marines. You will not be expected to fight at their level. Oh, thank God. I still want those Luther augments. Emps just laughs. Fulgrim speaks up. Anon will do fine. I suggested this to Father. Your mentor is one of my best. Anon, what do you know of Brother Rylanor? En route to Hemrit, I met the Ancient of Rites, and he threw my ass into the grinder. Each legion took turns hunting me down while the other tried to protect me. Rylanor had me adjust to transhuman dread by making me fight bouts with the marines. I got my ass kicked repeatedly so I could try and understand more of how they thought, or something. I was honestly too sore to think much. But as we drew closer to Hemrit, I felt I was less and less deadweight while running drills for the Legion. Rylanor even told me some stories about the earliest parts of the Crusade. I spent most of my training basically trying not to run away screaming. I may be a perpetual, but I still very much work on a mortal level. Astartes are just... more. They move faster, they think faster, their movements are rapid and controlled. I need to be able to control my awe and dread while being among these demigods. If I freeze up, they will have to cover me for even more. The Solars are joining me in this, and making me look bad. I'm sorry, but seeing a squad of marines charging at me is pure terror, and the bites make me feel hopeless. At least I seem to be past freezing, even if it is just panic firing instead of just standing there like an idiot. Rylanor is slowly beating proper responses into me. Honestly, you, you're not. You're never going to be able to compare them. No. Like you're just not. Like, Anybody I, I, in this situation I, I, would do the exact I, fucking same. Like, I, I can see everyone watch and be like, Ugh, "I would be so much better." No, I, no, 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 you fucking, no, no, you fucking can. Shit yourself. No, you fucking can. Anybody what, would what, shit what, what, what is, what is it? it takes minimum like a hundred years to become a space marine, and even then, 
the amount of like augmentations it, yeah. and you're not even a human at that no. stage you got to be serious you know you're, you're more of like a husk that used to be a human yeah you're something completely different notice frontal attacks get to cover and haul search hall for second ambush while staying against the wall snap fire at first sight of an enemy alerting my allies of the second attack retreat to the back of the group using the armored marines as cover snap fire to try and open enemies to allied attacks and exercise much better and all a bit slow in the withdrawal but much better i am tired beyond belief but i feel great at actually passing the challenge i move as fast as i could took too long to spot the second squad the ancient gestures his approval don't look for the enemy proper just look for movement your mind won't process it fast enough what about risking friendly fire you have bigger concerns against foes that are so much greater than you you need to be able to switch to such a mindset depending on the foe you're fighting understood we will continue our drills but you're free to rest now you've done well and all i give him a thumbs up <laughs> so i'm hitting the hot tub <laughs> hey. i make my way to my suite oh so ready to soak in the tub i enter the atrium only to interrupt something one of my scribes is getting frisky with a maid in the tub hey. <laughs> they look up at me in shock my solars just chuckle i just give them a thumbs up and walk past to my rooms i ain't gonna be no cock block <laughs> cup bro, cup bro. <laughs> cup bro. <laughs> Luckily, my personal bathroom has a shower I can soak in. I'm slightly miffed I can't use the hot tub, but I have a standing invite to let my staffers use it on off hours. I don't know. I don't want people jizzing in my tub. I'm what sorry. hot I, tub I, doesn't have jizz in it. I know. I, yeah, I suppose that's exactly. like. Exactly. Yeah. It's just a sip. It, yeah. It's a it's a hot sip. A hot tub of just. <laughs> <stuff up. laughs> yeah, actually, please just continue. I clearly need to set a reserving system if they're getting frisky in it though. That was awkward. After a long shower, I hop into my bed for a well-earned rest. Just as I'm about to doze off, Magnus bursts in screaming. Anon, get up! I think we found the beacon! The way I said that, it reminds me of the taking the hobbits to Isengard! No, no! The beacon! The oh, beacon! The beacon! The beacon! The beacon! The beacon! There goes my sleep tonight. <laughs> So, boys, we think it's better off we end it here. There is still so much more. There's still much more, but the way this story goes, if I continue on, it's going to be like an hour and a half long. Yeah, exactly. And I feel like this ends at like a good point. At a good point to where, where we it's can... an, Okay, it's a bit of a tease, but it's not the biggest cock tease in the world. Yeah. You know what I mean? And looking at this thread, there's easily going to be another maybe two yeah. or three more two parts. Two videos, I think. Um, at the minute, there is only one thread act, like, you know, that's out. Mm-hmm. So we're, like, not far away from, like, you know, being up to speed. But, quote, unquote, like, you know, we're but... doing pretty well. I think we're keeping up to speed well enough with the yeah. author. So I'm kind of happy with that. And it's actually really nice to see, like, all these nods to, like, Marines now. Because it was really nice to see, like, you know, the... Primarch, but now you get to see like minor captains and stuff and I, I love that type of shit you know what I mean I think it's really cool let us know what you think about seeing them down below because I don't know I, th- I I just think it's a nice thing to add you know I think it's kind of cool 40k nerds get hype <laughs> <laughs> yeah well like, it, no it, it is a fun one though it's a very unusual fan fiction and it has definitely grown on me see whenever we first did it I was like mm, I don't know this kind of sounds kind no, of I love it. this kind of sounds kind of gay to me at the start but I love it like, I'm, not I'm, into, I'm not into 40k I don't know much about the lore bar from the odd things you tell me but yeah. um, I'm really into the story yeah, in general I'm feeling it so I am, I'm definitely feeling it and definitely what I want you guys to tell us what you think because like, we all know there's definitely going to be another horror so it has to be it just feels like it's it's always there looming in the background and it yeah. feels like no matter what what way do you think it's going to end? Yeah, like, no way. what way do you think it's going to wind up? I, I still think he's, uh, the Emperor's going to kill him. I think he will. Yeah, I think so I think well. the Emperor will kill him once he's, once once he's, he's finished with him. with him. I think he's going to kill yeah. him. I think there's a very or high chance. Or one of the Primarchs might take him. Because mm. he's very close with... But he's uh, practical, so he'll keep coming back to life. Oh, I suppose. You know, and that's the same as... Which was it Vulcan? Is also he's he's got that immortal thing going. On. So like I don't know. Like let us know what you think and your thoughts on what's going on down below. Definitely remember to like you know subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when this is is coming out. Yeah. What we're aiming to do is we're going to try and start this next. Yeah, week. we're gonna we're trying to get on a better uploading schedule Visual. because everything's been everywhere for a minute. Yeah, and um, you know we're going to try and keep 
the, the multi-parters multi-parters so like this and, and the, old uh, the all guardsman party we're going to keep them uploaded for the weekends yeah, so, so saturday sunday like it might be reverse maybe whichever the, whatever one but they're going to be on the weekends, weekends. anyway that's what we're aiming for so starting next weekend you will have both parts at the weekends at the weekends so definitely hit, hit the notification bell so you get it and yeah. hit subscribe while you're there and hit a like button and also see if you're on like what part 13 of this and you're not subscribed so why? Why? What? Why? What have you done? What? What, uh, have we hurt you in some way? Come on, guys! Come on! Come on! Here, just, just do it, yes. It helps us out a lot. You know it does. Let's just do it. All right, please. Anyway, hope you guys enjoy. We've had enough of that. Uh, talk to you guys later. Bye.